Hi everyone, Dave with DUO Scale Trains. Wanted to get a video to you guys, show you some layout progress and uh, some things looking into the future that we have coming to the channel. So, uh, got some work done yesterday. We had a busy morning, some business to take care of. And uh, I got down here last night, got several hours in on the layout. Uh, so we'll show you some progress of that first. And at the end, we'll talk about uh, what will be new to uh, both the channel and uh, some upcoming uh, things for maybe you guys to purchase. So uh, coming through, we moved some engines around. So I will show you that now and some different progress that we did yesterday in our uh, what will now be diesel yard we have moved out our steamers and uh, we just have a few diesels sitting here in our two stall engine shed so diesels will now be primarily set up over here uh, waiting to be going out and ran on the main line uh, I believe I'm going to keep a coaling tower and a water tower over here just to uh, give steamers capability for fuel if uh, we so want to keep them here. Not that they couldn't ever come over in here uh, if need be, but uh, for the most part we will keep this uh, mainly for diesels. So, progress on the new room. Our new room progress, uh, we've got our uh, switch set in place. I do not have that wired yet, so the inner loop is not running today. Uh, switch tower is in place. Our yard lead will be uh, headed off the main transformer and uh, DCS system. So both of them will uh, have capability to come into the yard. Got a coaling tower that was in the other room. Questionable, I might buy uh, another coaling tower and water tower to have one in both places. Uh, as also you can see, our whisker tracks are set in place for our turntable. So it gives us a nice layout way to kind of uh, show the uh, engines a little bit better, show them off, let them be seen and also storage. I can pull engines as needed out and run them. Uh, none of this is wired at the moment. Uh, it is all manual uh, operation. I'm not sure I'm gonna... Got the uh, Z4000 transformer uh, in for some service work, my second Z4000. My one runs uh, the two lower lines on the main, and I'm running a celebration series on the upper uh, because my uh, other Z4000 has had issues. So that's getting looked at Green River Hobbies this weekend. I took it in this morning, and I am hoping uh, that if we can get that back going, the celebration series will be mounted kind of down below here. Uh, and then that will run the turntable and then the whisker tracks for uh, the roundhouse. So uh, roundhouse, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room to put one in place. I would love to. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. You got to have a lot of floor space for uh, being able to put uh, turntable and roundhouse in. So we have the whisker tracks, but I don't know if we have enough room. If we do... It'll only be three or four stalls at the most uh, for the roundhouse. So um, anyway, so I'll kind of show you the operation of the um, turntable. So fully capable, we can move it around. It is operational only by hand at this point, but uh, we do have it set up to where we can pull a train from wherever we want to took a while to get all these lined up and the different tracks laid out so we have uh, full capability to pull from where we need to to get whatever engine we so choose onto the layout so um, aligning these things definitely took some time 
making sure we had enough clearance, but yet uh, still had uh, them close enough to where the tracks would actually match up and lead into our uh, turntable. So, uh, anyway, just kind of give you an idea of what the look of that is. So, coming to the channel, uh, we have purchased a diode laser. So, this will be added uh, in the next week or so. Hopefully, it will be here. Uh, purpose, we are going to start doing uh, laser cut buildings. So, first item on the list... Uh, the Rock Island Depot in Rock Island, Illinois. I will try my hand at making a Rock Island Depot. Once I make that Rock Island Depot, I will uh, give you guys an upcoming look at it, progress as it goes, and uh, that will come down here on the layout. Everything goes right. Uh, the goal is to have these available for purchase. So uh, it will be to scale. Uh, I actually work about 500 yards from that depot. Uh, I work in the old farm oil plant in Rock Island, Illinois. So I will literally go to the depot and measure the depot to scale. So uh, these, uh, I've talked to Matt at Green River Hobbies uh, he's on board with uh, carrying them at the hobby shop. Uh, I will offer, hopefully, a kit version and a um, built version that I will build. Uh, you can paint yourself. Uh, we'll see how much time it takes to uh, build them up. That might be a limited thing. Uh, I see how time allows how long it takes me to build a kit. It's not going to definitely happen overnight, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And then uh, painting, we'll see how that goes too. So not going to promise anything as far as uh, how many I'll be able to do or how often I'll be able to get them done. As far as the kits, uh, we'll see how everything goes as it, things progress. I will take you along in that process too as we get the diode laser set up. And uh, so my goal is I want to uh, create that depot as well. The depot here in Geneseo, Illinois, I will do a kit of that. Uh, and then more buildings will just kind of keep rolling through and progressing. So uh, we'll see how things go and uh, just kind of move on from there. So. Uh, also for the layout, looking at doing, uh, probably going to add some backdrops to this section, get this section painted, uh, not happy with the paper on the wall, so I uh, just want to go for a different look, so I want it to look a little better than that. So we'll do some improvements on uh, our whole setup as far as that goes. Again, work in progress. Do a little bit as we can. Just try to keep things going. Uh, the scenery will come along with everything else. So uh, I will do as much as I can, as quick as I can, just to make it uh, so we can see a little progress every time. So want to also get come up with an idea for some uh, storage of some passenger cars i'd like to get more of them so they're out and visible uh unsure right now i know this switch here will be coming into here got a few passenger cars sitting here uh not really much room i wanted to be able to squeeze one more car in here but i don't know if that's going to happen so we'll see as things progress if that's possible uh, i wanted to put some buildings back here um but might end up putting a switch track back there too to try to get uh, some more room for some cars to go. So it's all just uh, some trial and error. Uh, nothing's pre-planned, just some ideas. Want to be able to have uh, cars and stuff visible, engines visible, and uh, full capability of that. So 
other than that, uh, that's about all I have for today. Just wanted to get an update and show you guys some progress. Pretty happy with uh, where we got this weekend. Uh, looking forward to uh, our upcoming new project. Uh, my wife's got uh, a business that I'll be starting up. I'll do some announcements there in the uh, first part of the month. She'll be starting up uh, a business. She's already been kind of working on this, but uh, we went yesterday and uh, signed contract to do uh, full bore on uh, our own business. So uh, show you some progress of things there too. So if you guys are local, you can come out and visit her. Uh, she's going to be making some, uh, she already does make uh, t-shirts and uh, hats and koozies and all kinds of things like that uh, so the diode laser will give us more capability and uh, more capability for the layout too and for you guys so some things that I would like to see built uh, now I will be able to hopefully build them myself so these buildings here uh, the Menards buildings are pretty much uh, what the capability of this diode laser are so I will have capabilities to make uh, any kind of building I so choose. So it's just learning the software and getting things going, uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So my goal will be to, again, uh, we're going to make a Rock Island Depot, uh, hopefully have some kits available uh, for sale too. Um, the depot in Rock Island is uh, very near and dear to my heart. I grew up in Rock Island seeing that depot all the time. So uh, we'll see how it goes as things progress. So until next time, this is Dave from DO Scale Trains. Please like, comment, subscribe. Join me along in this journey. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. This is Dave from DO Scale Trains, and I'm out.